This is Gary Hall from Exodus. You are listening to The Age of Metal. Hello everyone, this is Miguel with DH Merle and I'm here with none other than Gary Hall of Exodus. How are you doing man? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Well, um, you guys started this tour like almost, what, three, four days ago back in California? Last night. Last night? Yeah. Or you just picked up last night? <laughs> yeah, because uh, Exodus are banned from the two Disney venues. So we didn't play Anaheim and we don't, won't play Orlando because uh, Disney and company have some kind of big problem with Exodus. I don't know what, but I've spent enough money on my daughters on Disney stuff. They should give me some, get, cut me some slack, you know. But uh, definitely. But fuck them. Well, so far, uh, what are your expectatives about this tour? It, well, we we're out with a lot of friends, you know. Like we've been friends with every band on this tour, none longer than Anthrax, and we've been friends since you know the beginning of the '80s and. Uh, High on Fire, Bay Area Band, we, you know, we just met Municipal Waste on the Barge to Hell cruise and we've toured together with uh, Holy Grail before, you know, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely looking forward for the show tonight. Yeah. Without revealing too much, um, what is going to be part of your set list during this tour? What are you guys going to be playing kind of like, well, without telling me the whole set list? A little old, little new, you know, it's like, you know, it's super brutal. We decided to just like go all out you know it's like, I think one song isn't like a hundred miles an hour you know in the whole set so it should be good one or two and everything else is just fast 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 you know? awesome violin and fast oh yeah always <laughs> all right um, exhibit B the human condition came out almost three years ago it's still fresh it's still relevant but the big question is uh, when is the next Exodus album coming up? You know, it's like, I've been writing, you know, the stuff I'm writing is some of the best shit I've ever written in my life. It's super aggressive. But, you know, I've been really busy, you know, between this band and that other band, Slayer, I've been playing it for a couple that of years. That little band? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, and, you know, I'm busy all summer with, with Slayer and through most of the year, but hopefully around the end of the year we'll get in the studio here, you know? Without, re I mean, like, uh, can you tell us a little bit about that record, what is coming out for next year? So it's like totally top secret so far. It's it's gonna be brutal. They all are though, but you know we try to like do something a little bit different each time out while maintaining our identity. You know, and uh, this one will be no different. Uh, certainly writing really angry stuff. So definitely looking forward for it. Well, uh, this May that is coming up, uh, you guys are gonna have pretty busy schedule with, with, with um, festivals. You're going to be playing the Heaven and Help show in Mexico yeah, yeah. and the Maryland Dead Fest in, of course, in Maryland. Uh, what those crowds, especially the Mexican one, can expect from Exodus in those tours? Violence. Unfiltered. <laughs> Well, uh, we were talking this about a little bit ago. Recently, Mickey Mouse decided to ban Exodus out of their premises, either in, in the West and East Coast. Uh, what is that? It's because, I mean, like, it, it makes it strange things to me because, I mean, Anthrax is a little more, bit more, you know, more aggressive than that, that. Well, not aggressive, but it's the same temper as Exodus. Why Exodus and why no Anthrax, I, for example? Well, Anthrax. Probably it could be lyrically, you know, because you know they're more about politics. We're more about killing people, and, you know, <laughs> Satan and shit. And I think it has to do with our audience. So you know, because Anthrax and the other bands, our audiences are rowdy too. But some of our fans get a little bit overboard. I mean, we've been banned for the whiskey for 
for a number of years, you know, since the last time we played there, you know. Like, still buying? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we sold the place out, they made a million dollars and still won't have us back. Wow. You know, because <laughs> you know, the crowd was too too off the hook, you know, they were great smashing the place into pieces, you know. So could have something to do with that, could just have to do with our relationship with Satan and the dark one, you know, I don't know. <laughs> It's a good question, you know, because until their tour got canceled, you know, they had no problem booking Cradle of Filth, you know, but uh, but not Exodus, you know. So I think it might be they're afraid of the audience, the wall of death, all that shit, you know. They yeah, definitely. They don't want someone getting hurt. I don't know. Yeah. I don't want anyone getting hurt. Either. Well, um, watching Assorted Atrocities, a little video that you guys did in the road a couple years back, it seems you guys been uh, through a lot and, you know, keeping it together, change of lineups and everything. Back in the day, in the 80s, did you ever thought that this band will be, like, you know, resistant to time and be so relevant today? I didn't know if I'd still be alive, you know, it's like, <laughs> been through, you know, serious drug abuse and all that shit and you know people around me dying from it you know and like somehow managed to come out unscathed you know so you know I, I I consider myself fortunate you know to still be here and be doing what I love you know it's a lot worse things I could be doing with my life you know definitely still relevant after like almost 20 years yeah um, well you play less been playing really often with Slayer. Uh, how has it been the experience of playing it with a band like that? Well, you know, there are, we're, I'm playing with a lot of old friends, you know, mm -hmm. been best friends with those guys for, you know, forever, you know, so it wasn't like, oh, you're going in and playing with Slayer. I never viewed it like that. I was just doing something different, you know, and it's kind of cool and, you know, and I get to go out and, you know, play some songs I've always loved, you know, and so it's, it's fun and we have a good time, you know. Definitely. Well, uh, talking about a little bit, uh, do you think or perhaps you will be participant on the next Slayer record or not at all? I have no idea, you know, we're just all hoping Jeff gets better, you know, and you know, his, I'm just keeping his seat warm till he's ready to come back and bring, bring the pain, you know. <laughs> Well, definitely, Gary, thank you very much for taking well, the time you. to talk to us. Do you have any kind of like last word to the fans who's going to be uh, assisting to this tour in the next dates? Um, get ready for a whole lot of mayhem, you know, because this tour is going to, something's going to blow up, I think, at some point. You know? Well, man, thank you very much and really good luck with the tour. Looking forward for the next album. To, I mean, definitely ready for the violence, the violence tonight. And, well, thank you very much. All right, thank you.